Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish that I had did better, but nothing seems to stay the same. Cause I lost my madness. I'm worrying and worrying that you guys would unsubscribe, but then you showed up on a Saturday night. What's up everybody? Welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. I am Clifton and welcome to another Saturday night live stream. You know on Saturdays we keep things a little bit a little bit different. Every week week to week we we switch it up every now and then. So tonight's not going to be a gaming stream like I've been doing the past couple weeks. Um although I was on vacation before that. So but no, we are doing a comparison of the latest batch versus the previous batch of three different whiskeys. So we have Larceny, the latest batch, B521, Maker's Mark FAE01, and we also have Barrel Batch 29 Bourbon. So we're going to compare each of those to their previous batch um, and see how the new batch is. That way, if you're watching this and you know you see them on the shelf and you say like, hey, do I get the A batch or the B batch? Well, you're going to find out tonight which one I prefer. Not that it really matters, you know, what I prefer, but that's what I'm going to do tonight. That's the theme tonight. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Saturday. Um, As you can tell, I got like a little, okay, I got really sunburned on my shoulder today. We went to Universal uh, Studios here in Hollywood area. Uh, first time back since the pandemic, it was very crowded. The wait times were ridiculous, but we still had a good time. We also went to the pool after that, so got a little, little toasty. Uh, but hope you all have been having a great Saturday. Let me know what you guys have in your glass. Um, I actually have not, oh, I've been drinking all day, but I have not tried any bourbon yet. So, so I, um, I had a margarita by the pool. I'm sorry. But yeah, so I have not had any bourbon yet. I have not had any bourbon since Matt Madness. Did you guys watch that last night? I didn't, I didn't do as well as I thought I did. I wanted to do, um, but I had a ton of fun with it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching it. I I know it was um, an intense match. Um, I'm very happy for Perry to move on, uh, but also a little a little sad because I wanted to win so bad. But it's okay. So. How are y'all doing tonight? First of all, shout out to our mods here. I see Emily Chambers already chatting it up in the room. What's up, Emily? Also see a few Bite Club members. I see Sugar Kitty. What's up, Sugar Kitty? Speaking of Bite Club, if you guys don't know, that is my YouTube channel membership option. Um, you can join right below this video on most devices except iPhones. <sighs> YouTube, get it together. So we're actually going to be doing a Bite Club Among Us session right after this stream. So if you are in the Bite Club or if you've been considering joining the Bite Club, now is a great time to do it because we are playing some Among Us right after doing this uh, tasting here. So like I said, if you've been thinking about joining, and then if you are in the Bite Club, make sure you let me know because on Patreon, not on Patreon, I don't know why I said Patreon, we actually do that on our Discord server, which is at bourbonbites.com. You can join that and you can... Um, the, if, you, if you are a Bite Club member, you will see a new special Bite Clubhouse. So if anyone's interested in joining, now's a great time to do it. We can play some Among Us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, But I also see some amazing patrons here. What is up, Adriana, Whiskey Mountains? Go check out her channel. Her and I are actually doing a stream next Sunday together um, to raise money for Alzheimer's research. So definitely tune into that. I see Kira Collins from Shelters. Kira, thank you for cheering me on last night. I saw your comments in the chat. Appreciate you so much. Definitely check out Shelf Turds, of course, as well. Hopefully, we are going to do um, a gaming stream with the Shelf Turds soon. We already have a plan. We just haven't set a date yet. So, <laughs> uh, Aloha to Don Nishida, another Bike Club member here in the chat. By the way, if you join the Bike Club, you get a special screen like this. Welcome to the Bike Club. So, if you guys want to join, Don Nishida. I didn't get a chance to do that last week, so welcome, Don Nishida. And also, Todd Koopa joined the Bike Club last night, too. Or, not last night. Thursday night. Either way. <laughs> So hopefully you guys are doing something fun with your weekend. Hopefully you have some whiskey next to you that you're about to pour and drink along with me because um, we're about to get into it. So like I said, we're going to do a the previous batch versus the current batch. So I have Larceny. I'll start with Larceny. Why not? Larceny batch B521. Every time I have my green screen, I cannot show you the label because my it's a very blown out. But this is the latest batch, B521. It is 121 proof. Um, 60.5% ABV. So that's that's pretty that's pretty hot compared to the previous batch, which was A121. That one is 114.8 proof. So this one's going up six proof points higher. Actually, yeah, almost a little over six proof points higher. So um, curious if you guys have seen Larceny B521 on the shelves yet. I have not seen it on the shelf. I'm a, I'm very thankful to Heaven Hill to send me this sample to review here tonight. Um, 
But yeah, so I, I I still have trouble finding any Larceny Barrel Proof, but I have not seen a bottle of the latest batch on the shelf yet. So, um, yeah, let me get caught up in the chat, you guys. You guys are, I love, I love y'all chatting, <laughs> recapping my night on Matt Madness, Cliffy the Toasted Barrel Edition. That's probably what you could call me last night, because I was a little, Cliffy was toasty, for sure, but I saw it a lot of fun. Hopefully... I wasn't as annoying as I was the first round of Matt Madness, because, <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, oh, I see a few new folks in the chat, maybe you guys came over from Matt Madness, thank you for subscribing if you did, I see Brian Toner, welcome Brian, um, two middle fingers up, I <laughs> love the name, welcome, um, I saw Tyler come in too, I, I lost his comment, but welcome Tyler, Tyler was on our hangout the other night, um, good to finally meet him in person, or not in person, virtually, <laughs> Um, but yeah, hope y'all are hope y'all are doing well. Ryan Ryan Hilson says, oh, and also another new name here. Um, not on the shelf here yet. Yeah, same here. I am in Southern California. I have not seen it. I I still rarely see any batches at all. But definitely not the latest batch. Even honestly, Heaven Hill like products like even like the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof that used to always be on the shelf have not seen it. So it, it's just crazy how limited it's gotten. Wesley Zeller, another amazing patron. Well, welcome, Wesley. Good to see you this Saturday. Um, oh, 21090 asked, what was the proof on the B521? B521 is 121.0 proof, so right at 121. So we're going to pour that, and we're going to pour the previous batch. I'm going to find out which one I like better. I just thought this would be kind of a cool thing to do, mainly because usually what you see on the shelves is, if you're going to see two, two different ones, it's most likely going to be the latest batch and the previous batch. So I wanted to have something for people that were in the store right now, and they're saying like, hey, do I grab the A or I grab the B? I'm going to put time codes at the end of this video so they don't have to watch an hour of a stream <laughs> to figure that out. Um, so if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay squad, I'm going to put time codes down below of which whiskey I'm reviewing at what time. So make it a little easier there. Got a new subscriber. So, so okay, this is making up for my lack of notifications last night when people subscribed because <laughs> Perry was reading off all the new subscribers. Ryan Hilson is a new subscriber. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate you joining the journey of uh i don't know where i was going with that appreciate you subscribing i was gonna stick to that <laughs> all right so i got in my first glass i have the b521 second glass the a121 um i'm just gonna repeat just since i since i said this at the very beginning we are doing a among us session right after the stream for bite club members you could join right below this video there's a little join button for a dollar 99 a month you get to join our gaming sessions and you get the cool little emojis in the chat so it's always fun um, first super chat of the night. I know I, ha I said that before the notification came up. There we go. <laughs> Big Vic says this is for a this is for a shoot with the loss loss last night, bro. Oh, like a shot for losing. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely, I needed those those wild turkey chugs last night. <laughs> Appreciate that, Big Vic. Though. All right. So, like I said, B five twenty one. We're gonna we're gonna do that one first, and then we're gonna compare it to the A one twenty one. So. Now I saw Fred. Fred made a comment earlier. He did thumbs down. Someone says someone's name is two thumbs up. Well, his name was two thumbs down to the B five twenty one. Fred is not a fan of Larceny Barrel Proof B five twenty one. Now Fred, you know I had, I gave you my first impressions, which I talked about on the Discord server. Um, my first thoughts. Which by the way, if you guys ever want to see my first impressions, I do talk about that on Discord. Go to bourbonbites.com. Everyone can join. It's open. But I always share my first impressions of a whiskey as soon as I buy it over there. If you're curious. Um, um, there's a comment from, I think it's Ryan. Ryan? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. They said, my husband and I subbed after Matt Madness. What a nail biter. We bought Barrel Batch 29 yesterday and couldn't find a decent review. Can't wait to see what you think. Well, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we're going to get to that one. We're going to do the um, Larceny first, and then we're going to move to the Barrel and see what they think. So actually, I'm not going to be comparing it to the 28. So I've already actually did that. So when I had when I got Batch 28, I compared it to 27 side by side and the 27 beat the 28 for me so what i'm doing tonight is i'm putting the 29 the latest batch against the 27 so that way because I, I know i like this 27 more than 28 so we'll see if i like 29 better than both of them so we'll find out two middle fingers up. that's a good point adriana i apologize <laughs> i knew it was something with fingers fingers thumbs uh we talked enough about fisting last night so we're gonna we're gonna keep the, keep the fingers out of it tonight so all right i need i need my water there it is my water okay i just i just had some fish so <laughs> my palate's a little little off already by the way, speaking of palate being off, let's talk about that loss last night, right? So I think my biggest flaw for the entire evening, I, I told I talked about this on Discord, but um, my proof 
proof radar was really off last night. I don't know what it was. Like when I would drink something, I even had control bourbons that were right around 100. About halfway through, I went back to my controls. I'm like, holy crap. These drink way lower proof than they taste. So I I, I, I was under, under guessing all of the proofs last night. That threw me off twice because the first one that I drank, I thought was like 86 proof or something like that. And there was that's what was holding me back for guessing like wild turkey or rare breed because i knew it was something i had in my collection like 100 percent. i was like this is something i have so i was racking my brain what low proof rise do i have and that's why i stuck to chicken cock if i had my proof if my proof radar would have been right <laughs> i probably may have would have come around to rare breed but anyways it doesn't matter it was tons of fun and i'm very happy for perry to move on so that's all I'll say about that, but <laughs> all right. So Larceny B521, 121 proof. Now I know Larceny Barrel Proof has been, um, first of all, new subscriber, Brandon. Welcome, Brandon. Thank you so much for subscribing and hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this stream and my normal uh, Thursday night streams. Saturdays are a little weird. I actually think I was going to, I was going to make a Patreon post about this. Saturday streams may become a little more infrequent only because I started doing the Saturday night streams during covid I, I wasn't doing saturday nights before that i was free every weekend i had nothing to do so i was always like oh, i'll just stream saturday night now that things are starting to open back up i think i'm gonna not necessarily go every other week um but for example next saturday i'm actually going to a, an in-person whiskey meetup i know very excited so i'm going to an in-person event so i will not be live next saturday so i'll keep you guys updated though for sure if you see a video like you know coming up soon that means i'm going live if you don't see that like the day of most likely not going live. So just wanted to <laughs> Ty Ty B or Ty, Ty Bay says iPhone YouTube is bunk. Yes. Unfortunately, iPhone YouTube does not let you join. Um, if you do open a mobile browser, you can join from that. If you are on an iPhone and you want to play some Among Us with us, um, you just have to sign into your YouTube account. It's really annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, and if you guys happen to join and, and you're on the Patreon or why do I keep seeing Patreon? If you're on Discord and you happen to join um, and you don't see the Byte Clubhouse, just let me know and I, I can upgrade your tier on discord so anyways larceny <laughs> um adriana says good thing you can't hear nick he keeps asking is the larceny barrel proof 81 proof well maybe hopefully hopefully my my what is it what's the word for like because i'm like there's the gate like gaydar what's the proof proof dar that sounds stupid ah uh, man you, you guys gotta come up with a name for my proof radar all right well on the nose it is pretty light. Um, Adriana says, what is Among Us? Among Us is a mobile slash computer game where you are working to find out who's the imposter. It's very fun. If you guys haven't played it, it's a ton of fun, especially playing it with a group of friends. Like That's why I wanted to do it with you guys. It's free on the phone, and it's like $5 on the computer, uh, but you can it's cross-platform. So I'll start a room just for Bike Club members tonight um, that want to join us for that. Um, I might open up to Patreon if, if not enough people are on. But I kind of wanted, I, I know when I announced Bite Club, I wanted to make sure that I stuck with what I said. And that's like, hey, you guys are here for the gaming session. So that's your number one way to get in. But I might open up to Patreon too, because honestly, like <laughs> there's a lot of you guys are already patrons. So it might make more sense, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll go with it. Proof Gauge. Ah, but I want something catchy. I want something catchy. Something like Proof Dar, but like less stupid sounding. All right. The nose on this one. It's very light. I my proof dar is very off because I would not guess that this is a barrel proof on the nose. And, I mean, there's ethanol. Like there's, I mean, there's definitely that's the only thing that I'm getting that's telling me that this is higher proof. It's got a nice smoothness. I know smoothness is a weird no nose for or it's a weird note for the nose versus the taste. But there's like a sweetness, but it's like not spiky. It's very like pleasant. Um, you got to look past the ethanol because there's a lot of ethanol, but yeah, I, the nose on this isn't honestly impressing me for the, the latest batch of Larceny, but we got to give it a taste. Cheers guys. And cheers. And thank you all so much for tuning in after that horrible loss last night. <laughs> okay. So the sweetness that I was getting on the nose doesn't reflect on the palate. The palate's a lot more savory, more savory than I remember. Um, this is interesting going back. I don't, I don't know if Fred, yeah, Fred's here. Booze meter, I like that. So Fred, I, I feel like I said I was getting a lot of the wood notes on it, 
when I first tasted it. I'm still getting that, but I'm not getting the normal sweetness that I normally get with it. So it's like really dominant oak. Um, we don't know the age. We do know it's about six to eight years based on um, what Heaven Hill tells us. But we don't know the exact age on this one. However, it's very oaky. It's dry. It does have a really nice finish. That that proof hits you and it lingers. So I will say that's what I re originally impressed me with this latest batch is the proof and the finish are exactly what I seek out. <laughs> They're, they It drinks like 120, what is it, 120? 121 proof for sure. Haldar. Oh, I like that one. Adriana, I think she's onto something. Haldar. <laughs> but I feel like people are going to think, like, what did he say? Mm. Nah, we'll, 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 work, we'll workshop it. <laughs> um, two middle fingers up says Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has gone downhill after C919. That's that's a bold claim. Um, I will say twice I have blinded my favorite batch, which is what I always said was my favorite batch, C918, which is what I always say is my favorite batch. I blinded it with the A121 of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And twice, the A121 beat it. I, I don't, and it's blind too. So it's not like I'm like being influenced. I think there's a couple of batches that I do think stand out. But in general, I, I probably agree with your, your statement. I just think there's a couple standouts that in a blind, I somehow pick over what was my previous favorite. Um, So Fred says he thought it was very grainy. Yeah, I you know what? My first impression on this was was really good. I'm going back to it. It's not impressing me as much. Now, I, I am curious to see how it compares to the A121, um, which I don't particularly remember liking very much either. <sighs> Man, I really want this Larceny Barrel Proof thing to like do well. It's something that I, I, I was so excited when they announced they were doing Larceny Barrel Proof. But after the first release, it's just kind of been like, meh, you know? Got a new Bike Club member, Ty, Ty I think that's Tyler that I was talking about earlier. Tyler, I think, <laughs> Ty Bay, welcome to the, welcome to the bike club. Glad to have you on board. Hope to see you on the Among Us session later on. Um, so, anyways, so that's my, let me go ahead and try the A121 of the Larceny. See if maybe I like it better than this latest batch. Because first impression on the latest batch is, it's, it's, it's fine, you know. So let me try the A121 just to see. Now, A121 proof wise is, like I said, 114.8. So lower proof. Um, let's see if, if that changes anything. It is, Tyler. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. I always don't, I don't want to like misname people. Oh, yeah. 100%. Nose on the A, it smells a lot better. It's the typical Heaven Hill bakery, like bake shop note that I get on a ton of their um, products. It's sweet. It's like a sweet, it's like a pastry stuffed with like a cream cheese or something. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's a creamy sweetness on the nose for the A. Let me go ahead and try the A and see how it compares. A is a lot sweeter. It's none of the graininess that I think Fred was getting on the B. It's sweet. Has a good finish too. That that hits you. You get that Kentucky hug real quick. Um, not as much oak. Y'all know I do like a good oaky note. It doesn't stand out as much to me. It's more of the sweeter, the you know, bready wheat <laughs> wheat bread notes that you would get on a weeder. However, I really liked A just now, and this is my first time comparing the two. I will go back to the B real quick just to make sure, but first impression. The previous batch, the A121, I think blew away the B. So let me let me go back to B just to make sure before I say that so definitively. <laughs> yeah, Fred, I'm with you again. <laughs> Fred and I were like, arg not really arguing, but we were talking about this the other night. I was like, man, that B is so good. Now I'm like, comparatively, it does not. I now. I always have to answer the question. If it's your first time, if it's your first time seeing Lars de Braille Proof on the shelf, you only see one batch, you see the B batch on the shelf. Would I pick this up? Would I recommend picking this up? MSRP on this was $50 when it first came out. Now I think it's shot up. At $50, 
honest, I'm going to be honest with you guys. And, I, and I, it's always that awkward moment when I'm like saying this after getting a media sample because I'm so appreciative of Heaven Hill. And I hope they know that I love Heaven Hill and like all their products. Usually their Elijah Craig barrel proof is always a hitter for me. I got to say, I don't recommend B521. I'm just being honest. It, it's not bad. But for the price, especially going up there like $50, $60, $70, there are much better, even cast strength weeders than this one. So unfortunately, this, this latest batch of Larceny Barrel Proof is a pass for me. If you see both of these on the shelf, the B and the A, the A is really good. The a, I'm really liking the A, going back to it. After so much time, because it's been a minute since I've had this one. Yeah. Now I'm just realizing my first mistake of the evening was I did not bring a dump glass, and I poured way too much of each of these. So if you guys will give me 10 seconds, yeah, I'm, I'm counting. I'm counting you guys to count down 10 seconds. I'll be right back with a with a with a um, dump glass because I'm not going to chug these. They're barrel proof. That would mess me up for the rest of the night. So 10 seconds. Be right back. And I'm back. Did I do? Did I do it? Was it under ten? I feel like it was. I'm good with this timing thing after Matt Madness. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I know my my ten seconds, my thirty seconds. So, <laughs> two ten ninety says, come on, well we're still buying it. Yeah. And again, it's it, I, just personally, I, I I feel like if it's your first time trying a Larceny Barrel Proof, B five twenty one may be a letdown. We have a new Facebook follower. Yes, you guys can follow me on Facebook. Um, just facebook.com slash bourbon bites. Lawrence, thank you so much. I post um, sometimes sneak peeks of what's coming up soon. Also, Instagram. I really need to be promoting my Instagram more because I've been using it a lot more. My Instagram stories, especially when I travel. I've been going to distilleries. I've been going to breweries. I've been putting all that on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at bourbon bites. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I will follow you. I will follow you back if you follow me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I need to be promoting my Instagram more. I don't know why I don't do that. Uh, but appreciate the new followers. Nine seconds. Oh, man, that was good. Fred, I agree with your last statement. I think I would prefer that one over that one, too. Um, but, yeah, so A121, I'm going to leave that. No, I can't because I didn't bring an extra blend. We're going to make a. We're gonna make an ultimate blend at the end of the night. We're going to try it. So we're mixing both B521 and A121. Hmm, I wonder. You know what? I'm, I'm about to taste that just to see how it is on its own because I'm curious. So this is a blend, a blend of the two latest batches. Smells a lot better than the B for sure. The B dominates. I I, I don't love that. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so let me go in and rinse these glasses real quick. What do you guys? I I know I asked earlier, and I I apologize for not reading the answers. What are you guys drinking tonight? Do you guys have any of these that we're drinking that I'm drinking? Or are you guys drinking something different? I should have taken a dry <laughs> I should have taken a dry week after last night, but you guys know I gotta gotta keep the content going for you guys because I just enjoy it so much, honestly. I was gonna say like, oh it was such a chore to drink for you guys. No. <laughs> I like drinking and I like drinking with you guys. It's so much fun. Alright, I'm rinsing the glass real quick. All right, moving on to Barrel Craft Spirits. So this one is, um, I know, um, I think it was Ryan, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, um, said that, that they and their husband just got this one. Um, so we're going to try Batch 29 from Barrel compared to Batch 27. Now, one thing that I've learned that I really, really love about Barrel is they are so transparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the info on this latest batch, and we're gonna see exactly what went into this batch. I love that Barrel does this. So their latest batch, batch B5, B5, wow, I'm still in the larceny, aren't I? <laughs> Let me find, oh man, they didn't, huh? Hold on, Barrel, Bourbon, Batch, 29. So I, only, I couldn't get to it from their main page, let's see. There we go. Uh, this is on other websites, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna just pull it up just for the info here. So batch twenty nine, it is a. This doesn't tell me what it is. Oh wait, mm, nope. Well, 
maybe this one is so new that ah i found it i found it okay i was like maybe it's so new that they just don't have the info out no they do all right so this one is a blend of indiana bourbons but why that's not accurate because oh so that first statement is completely inaccurate but the rest is accurate i was gonna say wait i don't want to give you guys bad info whiskey central shayla what's up thank you so much for tuning in um i caught a little bit of your stream earlier while i was out by the pool and it wasn't in the chat but i was <laughs> i was tuning in so um you guys go check out whiskey central she's awesome hopefully her and i can do a stream here soon um as well we've been kind of sort of talking about it so shayla i'd love to have you on um anytime so let me know <laughs> so this one batch 29 is a blend of it's a blend of indiana bourbons and then it's expanded with six and seven year old rye grain kentucky bourbon um, as well as nine and ten year old weeded bourbon finally a small amount of six 14 and 16 year old tennessee bourbon was added so wow that's really complex that's really a lot of blending going on but y'all know the folks at barrel their blending skills are top notch i honestly think them along with bardstown bourbon company put out some of the best blended stuff i've ever had now Fourgate also does an awesome job with rye, but with bourbon, I have not had their bourbon, so I can't comment on their bourbon, but so anyways, this is batch 29. Now this is 115.88 proof. So it's, it's, it's not as hot. Now the previous batch is 115.7. So they're very, very close. So let's, we'll do a little side by side. Got a new subscriber here tonight. Devin, Devin, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate you. Hopefully, honestly, you guys, we are getting close to 3100 like that's crazy because i just hit my 3000 goal like what like three weeks ago i, I would say that i did my 3000 subscriber celebration so the fact that we are almost at 3100 is awesome i, I big of course i gotta thank matt because that totally i think hopefully a lot of you guys came over from matt madness and you wanted to see what else i was other than drunk cliffy which will sometimes every now and then make an appearance usually he makes an appearance on the after party hangout <laughs> versus the live stream um Adriana, you, I wish I could feature your comment, but I'm not on StreamYard. She says June 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern, Alzheimer fundraiser with bottle giveaways and Whiskey Mountains. Yes, y'all go check out Whiskey Mountains for sure. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch that live stream. We're giving away a lot of bottles, I got to say. She, she told me, and I'm like, holy crap, we're giving all that away. And she said, yeah. So y'all got to tune into that. I'll, of course, be posting links here on my channel to that as well. All right, so 21090 says, Barrel can do no wrong. Well, let's find out. I'm just kidding. I, I have a good feeling I'm going to like this because I've, I've liked all of their previous batches. Like I said earlier on, I tried the 27 and the 28 side by side. I prefer the 27 of the 28. So we'll see with the 29. Let's see if it comes out ahead. Let me go ahead and pour both of them at the same time. So it's a fair comparison. Um, But I, I so the only, I guess, negative with Barrel is sometimes I think that there's a little bit too much of a Tennessee note. And y'all know what I mean when I say a Tennessee note. Sometimes I do feel like there is a little bit too much of that minerality that comes with the Tennessee whiskey. Um, I thought that about 28. I thought 28 was a little too Tennessee-y for my palate. Um, but 27 just killed it, I think, last time. So let's see this 29. Let's see. It did say they did add a 6, 14, and 16-year-old Tennessee into this. So let's see. Let's see if we can find that. And hopefully not. Hopefully, I mean, I'm okay with a little... A little dickle in my life but when it's the dominant flavor it's not my favorite oh man the nose on this is so good this this by the way i'm drinking the barrel batch 29 right now holy crap that nose is so good that that's exactly what i want from a bourbon it is man that's an intense that's, that's like there's so many flavors in there that's hard to pull out certain notes on the nose I would say it's definitely buttery. It's like it's like a nice buttered, like you know what, almost like a um, ah, what's the word? Like peanut brittle, like a peanut. I, I totally just messed that up. Peanut brittle. You know how sometimes it's like a buttery, maybe even like a praline, like a praline kind of note on the nose. Wow, that is again. It's almost. I, I said bake shop earlier with the larceny. There's some of that similarity here. Man, that nose. If the taste is anywhere as good as the nose on batch 29, then this one is a winner for me. So let's go ahead and try it. Cheers, guys. Okay. There is some Tennessee showing. 
Which, of course, like I said, it's not always a bad thing. It's just personal preface. If that's the dominant flavor, I'm not a fan. I will not. I will say this is not dominant. Is it a little bit more of the minerality than I typically would like? Yes, a little bit more. But it's got an amazing finish on it. It's still going. It's still going. That proof, that proof point, I, I, I feel like, you know, I always say I'm a proof whore. But I find it more and more lately, I'm gravitating towards like the 110 to 115 proof like range. Just like when I'm typically just drinking a whiskey that I want to enjoy. When it's in that range, I feel like it's the perfect balance between proof and flavor because when it's a lot hotter than that sometimes the proof overtakes the flavor and when it's a lot lower than that you get a little less flavor you know what i'm saying so first sip first sip on that barrel it's a really good one so let me go ahead and try that again and then i'll switch to the barrel batch 27 to see how it compares um ryan says barrel is easily my top billing right now so good like butterscotch butterscotch is a great note to describe this one for sure i mean if you like that note then you're especially gonna love the nose on this one um, Steve, Steve says, being new to bourbon, I have held off on barrel, hoping this is a winner, so I feel good about jumping in. Steve, I'm the same way. I, I've said this a lot on the channel. I was intimidated by barrel. I think they have so many batches. The the label itself doesn't really tell you as much about the whiskey as you kind of want to know. Their barrier, their, the price is a barrier to entry. They're like eighty to ninety dollars. So, I was right there with you. It wasn't until one. I've had a representative from the show to kind of explain it to me. But two, knowing that their website has all this fantastic information about each batch, that was my selling point. I love that I can go on their website, look up each batch, and say, okay, batch 28, what's in it? Bam, exactly the age and the state that it's from. That is super helpful for me for finding my favorite batch. So I will say, definitely pay attention to the batch you see. Like if you see it on the shelf and you want to dive in, just pull up your phone, go on their website, and search for that batch you will find all the info you need. So if you know that you tend to gravitate away from Tennessee whiskey, you may want to avoid ones that are high in the Tennessee whiskey. So hopefully hopefully that helps you. It helped me a ton. So just a little pro tip that I never I never knew until I actually talked to um, Will Shragas from Barrel. He's been on my channel a couple times, by the way. If you guys missed those live streams, he was on to talk about Barrel, and then he was on again to talk about Stellum Spirits, which is their new, more affordable, more approachable line of whiskey I've been falling in love with. I, I literally... I don't know if I've said this yet, but so they sent me media samples of the Stellum bourbon and the Stellum rye for that stream. Guess what? As soon as they hit my store, I bought a bottle of each of them. I think Stellum knocks it out of the park in terms of value, right at that 50 to $60 price point. Cast strength. Honestly, that's actually, that's better advice than I just gave. Steve, ignore the advice I just gave. Don't ignore it. But if you are curious about what, knowing what the, the, um, sorry. Like I said, just ate dinner. If you're curious about knowing what the barrel, I guess, flavor profile is, I know it's a little bit different, but check out Stellum. It's a new product. It's their more affordable blend. It's mostly Indiana whiskey in there. However, it shows off just how good they are at blending whiskey. So I think Stellum is the perfect entry point into um, barrel craft spirits, in my opinion. Um. So two middle fingers up said, is it's Dickel... It's Dickel, nothing to be scared of, or is there? Okay. Dickel in general, or are you talking about in this whiskey? Dickel in general, George Dickel, love him? No, I don't love him. They, there's a note that people always talk about with George Dickel, and people say Flintstones vitamin is the way they describe it. It's got that minerality of like a vitamin, a chewable vitamin. Now, not all Dickel has this. That's the thing. Their bottle and bond from 2020, the 11-year bottle and bond, fantastic one of honestly i would buy all of it like i would keep buying that one and ignore the rest of diggle because it's so good i have heard thanks to our amazing discord um which you guys can join at bourbonbites.com um there is a new 2021 george dickel bottle and bond it is also a 13 year which if you notice that was the same that 2019 they had a 13 year too that one was flintstones vitamins up and down 2020 was really really good so i'm really curious to see how the 2021 is. So if any of you guys see the new release, the 2021 George Dickel Bottle and Bond, let me know. We might need to work out a deal where we swap some samples because I really want to try that one. <laughs> Adriana says, following in love with Beryl or Will or Shragus. No, he's awesome though. It was a really it was a really fun conversation. Especially when I had him on for Beryl, it felt a lot more like procedural. It was more like, this is Beryl. This is what we do. 
But when I had him on for Stellum, I could see there was like a twinkle in his eyes. There was a spark and a passion for that new product. And that was really awesome. Um, Tyler followed me on Facebook as well. Thank you so much, Tyler. I appreciate that, man. So let me stop rambling. Let me let me try the previous, my previous favorite barrel batch, which was batch 27. Let me try batch 27 and batch 29 side by side. Oh, thank you, Adriana. She said that is such a cool backdrop, Clifton. Thank you. Yeah, so this is, it's it's a first first take at, is, this was not designed by me. I'm not that talented. Um, I reached out to someone, um, a graphic designer. I told them what I wanted and I think they did an awesome job. I want to grow from here. I, I like the concept of it, but I really want to do something really cool with it. So I think this is the perfect background for right now, but I'm, I have a lot of ideas in my head that this inspired. So, but yeah, it, it's exactly what I want. I mean, it's got the whole like retro floor of like an old arcade it has all the old gaming consoles. I, it's awesome. And also I love this neon sign over here. I also have an animated version too, that I'll put in my videos every now and then. So check that out. All right. So batch, batch 27 from barrel. This is from last year. Ooh, ooh. There's a reason I picked that as my favorite barrel batch. It's, it's, I, you know what I think it is? I think it's because the Tennessee whiskey took a back burner on the 27 and let the Indiana whiskey shine, the Indiana bourbon. I, I definitely get a lot of MGP notes on this one. I, I, I really like a well-aged MGP product, whether it's a bourbon or the rye. So, um, this tastes like a really well-aged MGP, MGP bourbon with some additional butterscotch notes that I think come out from the Tennessee whiskey added. So first sip on the 27, that was really good. <laughs> um, Northwest bourbon says background is cool. Appreciate that you guys. I'm glad you guys like it. Batch 27 is sweeter. And I think if you are a little against the Tennessee kind of note that the some batches give you, go for the 27. Let me go back to the 29 and give final thoughts now that I've compared it directly. Less sweet. More, not quite savory. The larceny was savory. That was, that was interesting. This one takes, it tastes older. It, it, it drinks like an older whiskey. I don't know for sure. We do know this is a six to seven year old Kentucky and then a, a, a nine and 10 year old weeded. So this one has some age on this latest batch, um, as well as the six, 14 and 16 year old Tennessee. Now, going back to the original question I asked on the last one, what I recommend if you, if you see barrel batch 29 on the shelf, it's your first barrel product. You haven't had one or you haven't had one in a while. What I recommend batch 29. Y'all already know I recommend batch 27 over 29, but do I recommend batch 29 as your first barrel? At the 80 to $90 price point. Okay. My only disclaimer, the answer is yes. My only disclaimer is if you know that you don't like that Tennessee whiskey note, it's, it's more dominant in the batch 29. So if you know you don't like that note, I wouldn't blind buy this. But if you know you're okay with that note or you've just never had that note, you don't know, I think batch 29 is good. I think I prefer the other batch better, but batch 29 is a really good release. Again, someone said earlier, barrel can do no wrong. It's a fantastic blend. It's 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 not, even though I feel like the, the Tennessee whiskey is more dominant than the batch 27 it's not overwhelming it's just personally that's a note that kind of turns me away from a whiskey every now and then so i i think it's worth picking up for sure the batch 29 especially if you're a barrel fan i mean it's another solid release from them uh, but i still prefer batch 27 over it holy crap ryan says they bought batch 29 for 69.99 i felt like i was stealing it you basically were. I don't think I've ever seen barrel bourbon for less than eighty dollars. That's that's I mean, that's ten dollars off. Normally it's around ninety. Holy crap, that's an awesome deal. Well, Ryan, I hope you I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know. Feel free to like you know come back later on this video and comment below after you've tried it what you think of it because I'm really curious to hear here, especially at that price. I mean that's a that's a damn good price. <laughs> that I would have a hard time passing it up for 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 that price. 
Um, and we're in Delaware. We don't get anything outside of dogfish beer. I don't, dogfish beer. I'm not a beer person, so I don't recognize that name. But that face makes me want to avoid it at all costs. Batch 29 is good. It's just not my favorite. So we have one more whiskey here to get to tonight. And it's one that I've actually had in my collection for a month or so now. And I have not reviewed it. I don't know why. It wasn't intentional. It was just one that I had. And I was like, why haven't I reviewed this? So that, of course, is the new 2021 Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series FAE01. So this is the latest release. They said it is a fruit forward expression with notes of tobacco and wood. If you don't know, every year Maker's Mark releases a wood finish series. Last year was SE4PR5. And it basically the names are ridiculous, but they mean um, the staves that they use to finish the whiskey. So they come up with new innovative staves each year to release, similar to their private select program and what they did with Makers 46. But there's an annual release of different ones. So we're going to try this new one. And we're going to compare it to the SE4 PR5. So yeah, Tyler says barrel is $80 to $90 here. Same here. <laughs> Definitely not an advertising name. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the dogfish head, yeah. I was like, for sure. I'm just imagining some weird, like, cat-dog kind of situation, but, like, with a fish head, and it, it's bringing very disturbing images to my head. Oh, Sugar Kitty said it's good. So, there you go. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those things where it's, like, people outside of the state think it's, like, really good. People in the state are like, oh, don't drink that. Don't drink that. But, like, people are like, oh, no, no, it's good. Like, oh, but that's our local beer. It's not good. You never know. I've never had it, so... Good 90 minute IPA. See, I'm not an IPA fan. My husband freaking loves IPAs. He's, we have a fridge full of IPAs right now. I just can't, the hoppiness, I will, every now and then, I will find an IPA like a, um, some of the ones that are like blood orange or like orange IPAs, I actually really do enjoy. Otherwise, though, I just, the hoppiness just isn't for me. It's not my favorite note. Um, I'm finishing off the batch 27 by now, and it all, oh my God, it's so good. I'm telling you, batch 27 of barrel, if you get nothing else from this video, you get the fact that I love that batch, please pick up batch 27. I think it's a crowd pleaser. I think it's, a, the, I can't imagine someone not liking that one. I can imagine someone thinking that they may have overpaid for it, but I can't imagine someone that likes cast strength whiskey not liking batch 27. And that's what I'll say about that. So let me go ahead and rinse out my glasses real quick and we'll get on to the maker's mark. And if a cat can say that. <laughs> oh, sugar kitty. All right. So we are moving on to our final tasting of the night. If you missed it, we are doing some Among Us after this for Bite Club members. You can join the Bite Club like Sugar Kitty and Tyler did um, and a few others that I have not seen in a while, but they're probably lurking in the background. Um, you can join down below. We're going to play some Among Us. Um, make sure you join our Discord server after joining the Bite Club because... That's where we're playing it. So I don't want to leave you guys out, but it's like that's where we're actually doing it. So. All right. So Maker's Mark FAE 01. I, as you can tell, I've been enjoying this bottle quite a bit. I've actually, not just myself, I brought this to a couple, um, of, not events, but a couple times when I've shared whiskey with friends, I bring this bottle because a lot of people have been wanting to try it. Okay, so like I said, like last time, I'm gonna pour both this one. And, man, that cork is really tight on that one. Um, and my last little, I saved this specifically for the stream. This is what is left of my SE4 PR5 from last year. Now, if you don't remember, because I didn't remember, um, I paired this with RC6, which was the 2019 Maker's release. I preferred the 2019 one. However, I preferred it so much, I drank it all. <laughs> so I don't have that one to compare to this one. However, we're going to do, like I said, comparing the latest batch to the previous batch. I kind of cheated with the barrel, but I just very, very recently did that stream um, comparing the 27 and 28. So I thought it was okay to kind of skip a generation. Plus, Barrel has like several releases every year anyway. So it's not like they're doing one a year. All right. 
I'll probably fin honestly when we're playing Among Us, I'll probably finish this one. <laughs> so, question: Have you guys tried the new Maker's Mark? Well, I guess two questions: Have you tried the new S F A E O one, or have you tried S E four P R five? Um, this one's been around for a while. It's hard to find now because it was last year's release. But I'm curious if you guys have tried it. What did you think? Did you like it? Have you tried RC6? Did you like that one? I love hearing people's thoughts on these because I feel like they're pretty polarizing. People like are very adamant on loving one or not liking one. Donald Rents, what's up, Donald? How are you doing tonight? Thanks for tuning in or whatever time it is in your area. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Fred says, since I loved RC6, I bet FAE will win. Well, we will find out. Um, uh, Adriana says, sad I didn't catch an SC4 PR5 bottle. Yeah, it, I, I've i told myself, like, especially with this channel, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I have to try every release, like every special release of something that's accessible to me. I got to pick it up. Like, even, you know what's funny? I have not seen Booker's this year at all. The, the Booker's Donahoe, Donahoe's batch that came out several months ago have not seen it on the shelves fortunately my friend brandon has got a bottle of it so he's holding on to that um until a new batch comes out we can compare them but yeah i have not tried that one and i, I don't understand <laughs> all right brandon says i love the fae we get lots of chocolate okay chocolate I, I like a good chocolate note um oh donnie so donnie's coming up with the comparison he says rc6 more than fae is better than se4 so that that order sounds interesting we'll see if i agree with that order donnie i can't fully compare it because i don't have the rc6 anymore but let's go ahead and um try it wesley says the only one i've had is the se4 pr5 and i really enjoyed it yeah i mean again if, if, that's kind of why i've put a disclaimer at the end of each of these reviews if it's your first time seeing it on the shelf do i recommend it usually that's a yes give it a try but the larceny this year just i don't know something about this batch i i really don't love like I thought I would. So, all right. So this is Maker's Mark FAE 01 2021 special release. Oh man, that nose is delicious. Yes. It's everything you love about Maker's Mark. Now, I, I know I always say this, but with Maker's Mark, the only thing I don't like from Maker's Mark is standard Maker's Mark. They're cast strength, they're 46, their special releases, their private selects. Oh my God, I freaking love them. Regular Maker's Mark doesn't do it for me, but their special releases are some of my favorite whiskey. And I always, always have a bottle of Maker's Mark. As y'all saw last Thursday, in case you missed it, I was on with Samara from uh, the Black Bourbon Society. Check out that stream. It was a ton of fun. We talked about their new barrel pick that they did. Um, but I talked about this Maker's Mark um, Lakers, Lakers edition for Los Angeles that uses the new roasted french mondiant stave i think i got that right so check out that i tried this over on that channel on that channel that was weird over on that stream <laughs> so yeah but I, I love maker's mark and the nose on this one is someone said chocolate earlier i think it was brandon said chocolate oh that's that's straight up chocolate on the nose it's like it's sweet. I mean, it's like milk chocolate. Like not, even, like not even denying that is like a milk chocolate, like a sweetness. But like good milk chocolate, not like your Hershey bar shit. I'm talking like, like your. I was gonna say like Dove, but that's not that much better. It, it's it's like a really dominant chocolate note, whereas those are like mostly sweet. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. It's okay. On the nose, I'm really loving the FAE. Let's see how it holds up on the taste. Cheers, guys. Hmm. Okay. I got really excited and then I got really not let down, but I got really like, where to go? Like that was my thought. I was like, oh, this is a really good flavors and they're gone. And I've been drinking stuff around the same proof all night. I mean, yes, it's 110 versus 115, but that finish went real quick. That was not what I expected to happen. Um flavor wise though, those flavors that hit my tongue when they first hit. They were really good. It was a lot of that mocha kind of sweetness. Like, uh, it, it definitely had some coffee notes. Too. That's why I said mocha versus like, like chocolate. It's like it was like a, 
mocha frappuccino. Nah, not going to go that far. But, huh. Got to go for a second sip of that one. Yeah, that doesn't stick around very... It doesn't overstay its welcome, which <laughs> doesn't happen with whiskey because I want the finish to go on and on and on and on. Man, I, I feel like the consistency here is I'm not loving any of these latest batches over their previous batches. That That is good. Definitely give it a try. I mean, these aren't even that expensive. They're like 60 bucks, I think. Give it a try. But my first impression is I don't really love that very much so let's see how it compares to the se4 pr5 and see if that one maybe stands out a little bit more oh thank you 21090 he said let's hit that like button need more than 15 yes you guys make sure to hit the like button right here it's so easy if you're on your if you're on your computer or no, no. if you're on your tv just like press down and then like scroll over and then tap the like button i do it on my tv all the time we that's how we watch most of whiskey too we're watching it on our tv while we're eating dinner or we're enjoying a few pours so Seriously, the like button really does. Help. I know it sounds like a tedious thing, but it seriously really does help the algorithm of, of YouTube and getting us featured and more to more faces, basically. So appreciate all the all the likes that come up tonight. All right. So let me try the Maker's Mark SE4 PR5. All the Dons are in the house. I know, right? Do we did I miss Don Nishida? I saw him earlier. What's up, Mr. Whiskey, Whiskey Shits? Good to see you. Um, Swan said earlier, I love the, I love those mocha staves. I need to try the new stave profile. Well, Swan, the Lakers one has eight of the new flavor profile, the new stave profile. So I owe you samples. Swan, if you want to sample the Lakers edition of this, let me know. I will definitely include that in your box of essential oils that I send to your house. So anyways, let me try the SC4 PR5. Oh, so Adriana says, finally, some or someone else that finds FAE a little too light and unlasting. Yummy, but just not hitting hard. Yeah, Adriana, first impressions on that were not that great. What's up, Gary Franchi? Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. And, it, and if I miss anyone else, I apologize. <laughs> I, I, I love seeing so many like, familiar and new faces here in the chat. That's what I love about these Saturday streams. I feel like I, I let my guard down a little bit more than I do with the Thursday nights. Thursday nights, are I feel like, are very structured and very, like, we're reviewing this whiskey, but we're also having a good time. This one's like, ah, if we don't get to the whiskey reviews, I'm just going to hang out with you guys and have a good time. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so this is the S SE4PR5. I always forget the name of this one. It's light. It is light, I will say. Proof-wise, they're about the same. The SE4 PR5 is 110.8, and this one is 110.6. <laughs> so they're very, very close. Um, you know what I really wish I had? I really ha wish I had that RC6. That RC6 was probably the best Maker's Mark I've ever had, even better than some of the private selects I've had. New subscriber, Jeff Perkins. Jeff, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for coming along for the journey. I appreciate you so much for hitting that. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this. You don't have to. But hopefully you want to see more of these streams. We have some really fun ones coming up soon. Um, but yeah, appreciate that. And it doesn't show everyone that's subscribed, so please don't get mad at me if you subscribe and you don't get your name on the screen. That's only if you have your subscriptions public. If you have it private, then it's not going to show your name. But anyways... That one, that one did, that one did, it hugged, it hugged hard, it squeezed the acid out of me. That was acid, by the way, not ass. Did not squeeze the ass out of me, but the acid, yes. Um, those are close. Those are real close. Holy crap. That, I, I've already got my winner. Between the FAE-01 and the SE-4PR-5, FAE-01 
significantly better in my opinion. I I, I thought they were sim- they both kind of they both went flat sooner than I wanted them to. <laughs> I, I expected a little bit more um to linger a little bit longer. By the way, AG is it AG Schurer? AG Schurer 42. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. I love I love that you guys are um hopefully enjoying tonight maybe you're here for the first time after watching Matt madness or maybe you just randomly came across this video i'm glad you guys are enjoying it enough to subscribe and stick around so y'all are awesome it's right time says what did i miss well basically everything <laughs> no offense but you can watch the replay but i did i have already tasted through all three of my different new whiskeys that i got today but i will say for the last one at least you'll hear the last one the last one maker's mark fae01 is good now Donnie posted an order earlier. Let me just see if I can find that comment. He said, where's Donnie's comment? He said RC6 first, FAE01 second, and SE4 PR5 third place. Donnie, I got to go with you there. I agree. RC6 is amazing. FAE01 is, I would honestly not say it's a close second. I think RC6 is just so good. It's so good. However, I will say these two are close, the, the FAE and the SE4. But I do prefer the FAE, the 2021 release. Those of you that don't know what I'm talking about are probably so confused by all these like letters. Basically, let me let me translate that. The order for like favorite to least favorite is 2019 special release, 2021 special release, and then 2020 special release. So I prefer the 2019 release, but 2021 gets my second place. It's got all the things I love about Maker's Mark. It's got all the sweetness, that weedy, that weedy character. Like, honestly, more so than the larceny, this has a wheat note, like a wheat bread. I really like that note. I love when it's dominant and right there in your face. That's awesome. But y'all got, y'all know what we got to do. We are at our last. We are at the end of the stream. So we're going to blend it all together. We are blending larceny. We are blending barrel of bourbon. And we are blending Maker's Mark. We will see what this results in. This is a big thank you to you guys for tuning in and sticking out this long. And for those of you watching the replay, let me know in the comments below if you've had any of these. Let me know if you have a favorite. I would love to hear your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. This has been a ton of fun. Like I said, we are playing some Among Us after this. So if you join the Bike Club tonight, I'm going to try to translate your, your membership to Discord. Um, and like I said, it, if... It turns out that there are not enough people on in the bike club that want to play Among Us. Um, then we will open up the patrons too, because it's always more fun with more people. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start hanging out in the bike club, sipping the bike club clubhouse lounge, and then if we realize there's not that many people there, we'll move over to the Patreon one. So hopefully you guys can find me there. But let's go ahead and try this blend. Cheers, guys. Mm. Okay. At first, very boring, very bland. But the finish, the finish, one of these finishes, I think it's probably the Maker's Mark, is carrying this whiskey. I would not be upset to drink this. This blend is <laughs> probably better than some of the whiskeys I tried on their own tonight. I'm not going to say which, but it's, it's, it's better than I thought. So cheers, guys. I will see you on Thursday. We have another, I don't know exactly what we're doing on Thursday, but I'm sure it's awesome. <laughs> I should have researched that beforehand, but... Thank you all, all the new subscribers and all the new followers that followed me from Matt Madness. Appreciate so much support there last night and here tonight. I will see you guys next next Thursday. But for those of you that are in the Bike Club or the Patreon community, I will see you guys on Discord.